Right, this is a statue of justice. She's scaring her scales and she's blindfolded. That represents that she will not look. Does he know the Trojan horse is going into his room? I don't think he understands <laughs> what we're all about yet. <laughs> uh, will he know? He will do. Uh, what are we going to do when we go in there? We shall explain to him why we're going to have the gospel. We're going to share the gospel. Now, I want to show you something. Just hold that for me. This prison is the prison where... Do you remember Sonny Wilson, the man of England? Yes, let me show you. This, this book here. Sonny Wilson was the one that was sentenced to death. Yeah, no, no, that's the, that's the first man to be executed when they introduced the death penalty again after many years. But Sonny Wilson was sentenced to death and he was acquitted. Now, do you know what happened when he left this prison? He left life in a book. Yeah, what was it called? Uh, Mere Christianity by C.S. Lewis. C.S. Lewis. What happened as a result of that? He became a Christian. Now, Michael's become a Christian. And he's in this prison doing 14 years or 16 years. And he's become a Christian. Now, I, when you came to this prison with me first in preaching there, what did you find in the prison? Yeah? Very run down. Louder. It's been very run down. It's filthy and dirty. But what, 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 what about the inmates? A lot of inmates have been converted. Yeah. In fact, been trained up as pastors. The so, the, so, the, so, it's Gloria Macabella's prayer is being it. answered. It's an amazing piece yeah. of work going on. There. Now, the other thing is this. I don't know where I showed you this one, but um, this, this amazing prison. This is the place where this is the last man that was sentenced to death. This is Alex Bartholomew, and he became a Christian in this prison. Yeah, and he's got his Bible there, and the guards were mocking when he was dying. And they, I understand, he was singing. He was singing praise to the Lord when he was dying. This is this prison, and this is where the Lord is working in this world, the biggest prison in Asia, one of the biggest prisons. And we're now going to go see the director, and we're going to ask him to tell us a little bit about his work. So we're going to film these inmates. These are the inmates we're going to film to tell them of their story. And they're going to tell us their story, how they got the work. Right, and this is going to be an amazing tool for evangelism. And he that cannot believe in God after this, and what, you know... What, what are you going to call this book? Trojan Warriors. You're going to call it the Trojan Yeah, Trojan Warriors. Yeah. And it's the testament of the Lord Jesus. Let's go and see And this. the scripture says, right. what does it say? And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and the, and the word, word of their testament. testament. Right, let's go in. Right. Come on, sir. As we come into the prison, there's Gordon, and there's what we say, the amazing cause of justice. A great one, as we go into the prison. We're going to see the director, director now. As come on in. Come on in. Here they come. The famous three. There's Michael, there's Brett, and Auntie T. John. We're going to sit around here. That's it. How are you? How are you? <laughs> right, Gordon. Gordon? Gordon. These are the first three Trojan warriors. This is Red. This, this is Red. He's going to tell us his testimony. This is Anthony. Well, you know, 
know me. <laughs> and this is Michael Clark. Yeah, right, okay. Okay, can you with that camera? Stand by. Yeah. Anthony Dolan. Anthony Dolan. Now obtain your copy of Trojan Warriors from the publishers now and watch the YouTube videos of these men's testimonies from crime to Christ. Also obtain from all major bookstores from Amazon and from Google www.trojanhorseinternational.com